Hi, my name is Sarah. This is Knit and Nonsense. So I guess when we're all sitting at home, I think that it's been 40 days since I started working from home. So it's been a long time. And I think that uh, where I thought I would never feel comfortable sitting in front of a camera, when you start to video chat with your friends and your colleagues at work and your family, it becomes a little, starts to feel a little bit nor more normal, I guess. So, um... Starting a podcast or a vlog of some kind has been something that I've thought about on and off for a while. I've been a knitter and a crafter for probably 15 years now, which seems really strange when I say it out loud. And um, I thought that this would be the time to try out something new. I feel like I really haven't been finishing many things for a while. I have seem to have a lot of unfinished projects. But this is one that I did finish for my eight-year-old. It's the Throw Over by Andrea Mowry. And it's not, the pattern is not written for children, but I went down to DK and knit the smallest size and it fits her pretty well. Um, it is short sleeve because I ran out of the yarn. She picked this, um, this is Sweet Georgia in Raspberry. I'm not sure if that color is still available. It was from Pretty Deep Stash. She really liked the color and... Um, I said we'll knit as far as we can go and this is what we got. She's happy with short sleeves so um, we'll have to leave it at that. The color work is done with scraps. Um, the This is actually a light pink. The camera's not really seeing it but um, this is Pink Peony by Chelsea Lux. This gray I'm not really sure what it is. It was in my stash in my scrap bin and this um, dark gray was some that I dyed myself. One of the things that I've been playing around with has been dyeing my own yarn. Um, these two are both uh, fingering weight on 75-25 merino nylon. Um, just sort of playing around and seeing what I can do for myself while I'm... I had some dye that I found... Oh goodness, I don't even know how long I had it for. So I thought, well, since I have it, let's see what I can come up with. So this one is just a, a tonal pink. This one I tried to do a little bit of speckling in and I did have a little bit of, of an accident with the blue, <laughs> a little more than I thought. Um, these two are both 80-20 merino nylon. Again, just sort of playing with color and mixing color to see what comes out. These ones are not wound up very nicely, but um, this was some really deep stash that I found that was kind of an oatmeal-y color and I decided I didn't really love the color and I couldn't imagine myself making a whole sweater out of it. So again I got out the dye and I tried dyeing up a little bit of a gradient here with the grays which I think turned out pretty well actually and what I'm going to do with it in the end is it will be Andrea Mowry's range shawl. So she had said this was her first attempt at a fade so I thought um, some sort of faded colors would maybe go well together to make this.
Yesterday was so bright and sunny, and today it's just really gray and dreary outside. Um, but what better day to sit inside and knit if you have the time and are able to do that? Living in my fringe supply bag is um, my super simple summer sweater. It's knit with the yarn that it calls for, the Rosa Parmar Mango. Now this gray is color 002, and the blue uh, is color 003. And I'm so close to being done. I've actually knit one of the sleeves twice. I knit this sweater in the large size, and I'm really, really happy with it as far as the body fits, but I was finding the sleeves a little, t so I ripped the one sleeve out and re-knit it at the extra large size, um, and it just gives that little bit more of room for comfort for me. Um, and I'm, I thought that I'm so happy with the way it turned out, and it kind of tells me how I've changed as a knitter. So what I mean by that is that this is a conversation that I had with my friend Connie from the In Stitches podcast. Um, I think that I used to knit where I just was so happy to have something finished. So sometimes, even if I didn't feel like particularly a sweater or a garment fit me properly, I was just so done with it by the time it was done that I left it alone. Um, this was the first time that I was so happy with the way the sweater was going and as I was trying it on along the way um, really happy with the fit and I didn't want to settle for oh it's just okay and yes it fits um, but I really wanted it to be that favorite sweater or one of those favorite sweaters because that's how this project felt to me and I did put it down for a while and didn't work on it for a little bit kind of, kind of the story of my life maybe some of you can relate but um, now that I've picked it back up to get back up again, excuse me, I feel like this is going to be really one of those go-to sweaters for me, and I wanted to be really happy with it. So taking the time to rip out that sleeve, as much as I thought, I felt like I was so close to being done. So to take that time to backtrack was a little bit discouraging, but I, in the end, I know I'm going to be so happy with it. This yarn is the Cozy Knitter in Celebrate the Night, I believe, and I got this yarn at the Knitting Loft when Christina came to do her trunk show there. I feel like I have a lot of unfinished projects at the moment, and um, I think I heard someone say, I'm not sure, maybe it was Maria from the Knitting Loft, um, they just put out their second podcast, and I think, I, I'm i not sure if that's where I heard the term whip off, whip Ocalypse, which is really difficult for me to say, whip ocalypse. Um, because so many people are home during the quarantine right now, trying to stay safe and stay healthy, um, a lot of people are using that time to try to finish off all those unfin unfinished projects. And I'd really like to be one of those people because I know it does feel so good to just be finished with those things. Um, these are some. Um, Socks that, again, Connie, she can convince me to do a lot of things. Connie from the InStitches podcast convinced me to try knitting socks two at a time. I have done it before, and now I think I remember why I don't do them that way. I really like the idea of them being finished when I'm done knitting. They're just done, but um, I, I like socks that are portable, and I don't feel like this is as easy to carry around with me um, if I were to go out somewhere and take my knitting with me. This one is my everyday slouchy beanie. I'm just finished knitting for the hem, so it should start to, or the brim, it should start going a little bit faster now. On these itty bitty needles, it took me a long time to get to this point, but I am really excited about it. I love how soft it feels. Um, this again is my own hand dyed speckled yarn and this one is some Rowan Kid Silk Haze that I had hanging around for a really long time. And together I'm really really happy with the fabric. I really really like it. So um, tonight hopefully I'm going to fold over that brim and just uh, zip along for getting the rest of this hat done. The Everyday Slow Chibini is by Tristan from Dragonhorn Yards. And uh, so is this one. This is the Stardust, also by Tristan. 
and I'm using Julie Aslan's DK. This is a merino silk DK um, in the color Edition Limite, and it's held together with a bouche mohair. And again, this has been a lot of fun. I don't know why I put it down. I probably should have been done it before now, but uh, now that we're home, I'm going to be trying to finish up a lot of these unfinished projects. This work in progress is Andrea Maori's Marley Shawl. And this is my first time doing brioche, and I really, really love how squishy it is. This is Ching Fibers, and I can't remember the colors, and I can't find the ball bands. Um, but I really, I'm really enjoying knitting with it. I have this extra pink here as well, because if by chance I need more than the two skeins of yarn, which the pattern does say that I'm going to need more. So I'm either going to make it a little bit smaller or add this one in at the end. I'm really excited about this package that I got in the mail this week. Uh, it's my order of Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. Um, surprise, surprise, it's going to be a Weekender by Andrea Mowry. Um, and I'm really happy with the color. I decided to look into the shelter after um, my friend Connie from the In Stitches podcast told me about their Apart Together promotion where they're working with local yarn stores and a portion of the discount goes towards a store of your choosing. So if you're interested, go check it out. There's a couple different coupon codes um, that you can use. So if you continue to watch me and if this keeps going, then you'll probably see me making a lot of Andrea Mowry's patterns. I really like her work. Um, this one is on my list of things to make next along with the Weekender sweater. Um, these colors, I got them from the Knitting Loft. These were, I think, the original colors. This one is um, Leaf, the Meadow, and the Castle. And that's going to be next up for me as well as soon as I get the Super Simple Summer sweater finished. And maybe I can convince myself to finish one more thing before I really start something else. We'll see. Well, it's been a beautiful sunny day again today. Um, this week has been really funny with the weather. It's sunny today, but it's cold. Yesterday we had snow. I woke up to snow on my deck this morning. Um, it really doesn't feel much like spring. So hopefully pretty soon we'll start to feel, have a little bit more spring-like weather, warm weather, because um, the kids need to get outside and I don't want to go outside when it's cold and blowing snow like it was yesterday. Um, anyways, thanks everybody for sticking with me for my first episode, and, uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.